Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Wednesday, February the 28th, 2018, and this is episode 2716. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to the last day of February and today's Morning Manna episode, and it's titled Show and Tell. Stay tuned. So yesterday's verse of the day in the YouVersion Bible app, and you know how much I love that app, was 1 John chapter 3 and verse 18. Listen to what it says. My little children, let us not love in word or in tongue, but in deed and in truth. Let me read that again. My little children, let us not love in word or in tongue, but in deed and in truth. Now, that, was not, that is not to say that we shouldn't tell people that we love them or express our love, appreciation, and value of people with words because words are extremely important. However, if all you have are words and no actions, to back it up. What does that say? You know, a wonderful book was written called The Five Love Languages, and I highly recommend the book uh, to you, especially those of you who are married couples, and even if you're not married. Uh, it's important to understand how people receive love because if you want to express love to them, words are certainly one way that you can do it. But the admonition from the scripture today is not just in word and by tongue, but by deeds, actions. You know, what you do speaks so loud I can't hear what you're saying. Remember that one? So the five love languages that Gary Chapman outlines in his book are these. Gifts, receiving gifts, quality time, words of affirmation, acts of service, and physical touch. Now, my love language is words of affirmation, okay? Okay. <laughs> But my wife, Susan Elizabeth, her love language are acts of service. So if I want to express love to Susan Elizabeth, I can say it, and I do. But grab the vacuum cleaner out of the closet, fold the laundry, take the clothes out of the washer and put them in the dryer. Yeah, that's what really expresses love to her. And so I want to challenge you today to think about ways that you can show love. It's so very, very important. You know, it's easy to let words come out of our mouths, but it's much harder to follow those words with actions. Yet our actions usually show the state of our hearts much better than our words. So God calls us to love each other with actions. It's easy to say that we love our family and our friends, but if we walk away from those relationships at the first sign of trouble, then our actions say more about love than our words. It's easy to say that we love the poor and the orphan, but if we're not doing anything to help those people, then our actions show how we really feel. So it's important. It's important that we demonstrate our love to others because true love is a laborious and operative grace. And so we read in this text today about the work and the labor of love. It shows itself by us serving one another bearing one another's burdens, putting up with one another, forgiving one another, praying for one another, building up one another, and the list goes on. So let me encourage you today to be sure that your love for others is demonstrable. Yeah, that's a big word, isn't it? How will your love be demonstrated today? Father, I pray today that you would help me to think about ways that I can demonstrate love to others. I look forward, Lord, to each day. And some days are challenging, that's for sure. But Lord, I'm looking forward to opportunities to be a blessing and to show love to others, not just in words, but in deeds. Help us, Father, all of us, to have that as a goal today. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Our website is morningmanna.com. My email address, Bruce Turner at gmail.com. Thanks for listening and being a part of my day and letting me be a part of your day too. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy. Choose joy.